I think I might speak for you. I don't want to be presumptuous as to say this, but I think I might. I am so sick and tired of talking about whether <sighs> Ivy League campuses are cauldrons and incubation centers for anti-Semitic hate speech. I think we have absolutely, positively, just exhausted that subject. And Elise Stefanik is enjoying this one moment, this superstar status regarding an issue that is a no-brainer. There is no real debate whether people screaming and yelling for genocide, genocide or, or whatever, irrespective of the target, I think we all can agree that that's not a good thing. The question is, how do you limit speech? Not action, speech. And more importantly, and this is the real issue, how do you justify this double standard of allowance? You allow the most horrible execrations that are, that are vocalized regarding uh, certain groups of people, but when it comes to others, specifically LGBTQIA and trans and whatever, with wrong pronouns, you show this supercilious, priggish, punctilious adherence to the most picayune of rules, and you will threaten to uh, academically dismember any student who violates this. But when it comes to other statements of hate and intolerance, well, then you're a little bit more, you know, understanding. You want to kind of flesh out the issues. Now, I think we've said enough about that because I, I don't know whether you've noticed this or not, but the world is about to explode. And I think we've said everything there is about this subject. Do you agree with me?